Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on crypto wisdom. And in this section, we are going to discuss about crypto taxes. I'm going to give you certain details on how you can calculate your tax. How is it that you need to understand how crypto tax would be applied? And this ideally varies from region to region, but most of the parts of the world will follow the same kind of a similar concept in terms of either treating it as capital gains or treating it as long-term investments. This is Mr. Aslan. Crypto education is my passion, guys. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is purely done for educational purposes only. So I'll be referring into a blog article that I was reading through the other day in terms of Investopedia as well as the Staxbet website. So I'll leave the link to all these things in the description box below. You can go through that in detail. I'll be covering only the main topics on how the tax system would come into place when crypto laws are effective. Now, whether this is going to happen the same way as it is written over here, or would there be some uh, further changes that might have been done in the later days that is yet to be seen because there is no core laws that are actually out there right now to ascertain that this is how crypto would be taxed. And further, certain areas are also legalizing crypto in terms of trading as well as legal tenders are being issued for example uh, just a couple of days back i guess indonesia also legalized almost uh, crypto trading of around 200 plus cryptocurrencies few of them made it and few of them did not and they had their own way of scrutinizing such tokens or coins the same way there may be other laws and taxation systems that might be introduced in the future but for now how we understand crypto tax and how we can calculate certain taxes that are there when you have made a crypto investment is what i'm going to go through in this video quickly running through as to how you will be taxing your crypto activity cryptocurrency reporting can be tricky especially since more transactions trigger capital gains while others count as ordinary ones so let's cover the capital gains transactions so cryptocurrencies are capital assets which means that they receive similar tax treatment to stocks any realized income from appreciation in the value of a crypto asset is taxable as capital gain though you can offset them against capital losses the same way that you do with trading of stocks the same concept applies to crypto as well so if they are treated as capital assets for now yes they are being treated as capital assets itself you know here are some common co crypto transactions that trigger capital gains which the IRS requires you to report on the 8949 tax form. Now, even though it is saying IRS specific to the US side, many of the other regions in the world also follow the similar kind of taxation system. That's where I will just keep it in general, guys. Save a sale of cryptocurrency for cash. That's similar to how you sell your stocks for cashing out. Exchange of one virtual currency to another. That's your swap. Using cryptocurrency or crypto debit cards to pay a merchant. Now, this is a bit of a tricky part because many of them do not allow you to go ahead and directly use you know crypto for payment they have their internal mechanism of conversion where your crypto assets which are there in your wallet even though you have your debit card will get auto converted to cash and that itself will have certain taxation involved in it so if such is the scenario whether they have gone into that or whether it is only applicable for such debit cards which have a direct payment with crypto it is unclear right now for me but if anyone of you has any details on that please do let me know in the comment section below. Now, in addition to gains and losses, you will also need to report all the receipts of cryptocurrency earned as income on your income tax forms, such as mining or staking cryptocurrency. These are important points, guys. The main reason here being many of us are now, you know, thinking as mining it on the GameFi platforms would not be subject to tax because you're earning passive income or even staking it in certain platforms, you're earning passive income. Would that be taxed? Yes, they definitely would be taxed, be it the gains or the losses. Receipt of airdrop tokens, this also is subject to tax because it's 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 like you are earning a passive income and it's another income source for you, right? But again, it depends on the market conditions as to whether the airdrop tokens received by you are actually giving you some gains or are you under losses in the overall portfolio per se. Now, payments received in the form of cryptocurrency. This also is subject to a specific tax. This ideally applies to all those merchants or even, uh, you know, such people who trade with cryptocurrencies for their goods and services. So that's something that we need to look at and how the taxation would happen for them specifically. Is there any difference? Absolutely not. As far as my understanding goes, everything comes under the similar capital gains taxation. Now, non-taxable crypto transactions, what are the ones which do not get taxed? Buying cryptocurrency and holding. Similar to how you buy your stocks, buying your stocks would only, you know, you will just have to pay a small amount of uh, transaction fee for the pro service provider. After that, it's just you purchasing it and holding. That will not be subject to tax. Transferring to cryptocurrencies between exchanges or wallets. Whenever you make a transfer, you're paying your gas fee. 
and again it's just a movement of asset it is not actually cashing out or realizing your gains right realizing your gains is sim- uh, similar to somewhat where you cash out that's not happening over here when you move your assets between exchanges and wallets it's like shifting your broker in the stocks field that's as simple as that so uh, that's not subject to taxes gifting cryptocurrency again there is a clause not including large gifts that could result in other tax liabilities now this is something that you could use to your advantage to a certain extent the main reason here being gifting cryptocurrency is a way of probably if if it's a small investment i mean not millions of dollars per se but if it's a smaller investment of say a couple of thousand dollars or so you can just go ahead and say that i gifted it to my wife i gifted it to my children i gifted it to my parents anyone or my grandparents anyone as such per se and you could save some taxes at that but you should show it you should actually show the proof of you gifting it and probably give some do- uh, kind of documentation ideally since the blockchain is very transparent you could always go by the transaction hash and provide certain details as to why you actually moved your assets from this to that donating cryptocurrency which in fact is tax deductible this is something which is uh, very nice because especially when you have certain other charity organizations now also getting adopted towards the crypto space you do see that donation of cryptocurrencies are happening through uh, to many of the organizations across the world well i have been covering one such project called meals which is a total charity based token in fact and many such charity based product uh, projects are there and for the people who are running these projects or project owners this is something that is a really good tool for what you can say legally uh, reducing your tax burden the main reason here being you have a charity aspect uh, allocated to your project that is out of your tax system right so your capital gains not counted for any donations that you do for your cryptocurrency to any of the charity organizations out there now when it comes to capital gains there are two th- uh, types long term and short term so the long term is anywhere between a uh, year and above and short term would be anywhere between within that uh, particular time frame so both have different kind of taxation system and this percentage might vary based on the region that you are in right now this is specific to the us but in the specific region that you are in the world this percentage may vary but the categorization of short term and long term uh, ideally would remain the same as far as i am aware personally almost all the regions in the world consider long term capital gains to be more than a year old and less than a year old would always be coming under the short term capital gains bracket now there are other specific uh you know irs related forms and details over here in this article you could just run through it but i will not go through it in detail because it's specific to the us and i would like to keep this video general in terms of understanding how crypto taxation happens now this is one more article which I'd like to go ahead and share with you which ideally gives you details of what are capital assets what are the key differences and how is it that your long term and short term taxation would happen now you can read through the entire article but i'll only take up the key takeaway points right now now capital assets include stocks bonds precious metals jewelry and real estate the same added with cryptocurrency when you sell a capital asset for more than original price price results in a capital gain now selling a capital asset after owning it for less than a year results in short term capital gain which is taxable as ordinary income long term capital gains result for selling capital assets owned by more than 1 year and are subject to a tax of 0 15 and 20 like i said the percentage may vary based on the region that you are in but this is how you categorize short term and long term capital gains there is a flat 28% capital gains tax on gains related to art antiques jewelry precious metals stamp collections coins and other collectibles regardless of your income now coming on to this there is another section called nfts in the crypto world which ideally would you know bring a lot of confusion on how they would be taxed would it be capital gains that you would be getting tax for or would it be something else it is still an ambiguity in fact in terms of nft taxation because see you're buying and selling nfts but they are basically artwork so they should ideally be treated as capital gains tax related to art antiques and stuff this is the flat 28% that i'm speaking of now this percentage again might vary based on the region that you are in but whatever is the percentage that is allocated for the art and anti that is what you would ideally imply for non fungible tokens but there is a debate around this as well because you are selling your non fungible tokens in terms of crypto assets now you are realizing your capital gains in terms of crypto assets and not the non fungible tokens alone so you are ideally having to pay a double taxation that w- would that apply or would it just be a single taxation of you realizing your capital gains and if since you are ideally trading it with cryptocurrency and you are converting your cryptocurrencies and then going ahead and cashing them out would they be subject to a double taxation so that those are the certain topics that are still under discussion and they are still under ambiguity a lot of big experts have been speaking about it and as of now i believe that non fungible tokens would be treated as collection artwork or antique that's the category that they would be put out as 
so you would be having a flat 28 percent or whatever be the percentage based on your region for any kind of artwork or antique or any such collectible that you hold in your wallets so nfts might be treated as collectibles is what my personal opinion is we are yet to see on a strong law that is being implemented in various other regions now this again might depend on the region that you are in in the world so we are yet to see on how this all goes out this is what i had the crypto tax perspective from uh, whatever i have read through and whatever information i have from my side guys do let me know in the comment section below if you have any other info or any other articles that you could refer me to in terms of understanding more about crypto taxes and stuff this is it for this video thank you so much for watching have fun and take care